Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we are updating the theme team tier list. A couple things that I want you guys to keep in mind throughout this video is I do rate teams based on potential, how good the important positions are, like cornerback, receiver, running back, and you know, fast quarterbacks, things like that, but mainly. Like running back corners and DBs are probably the most important things on a the theme team. So there's a lot of value there. And also when I rate these teams, I don't, or when I, you know, when I rank these teams, I don't consider them having team captains, you know, Eric Berry, Rondé Barber, Kevin Mawe, uh, Frank Gore and Channing Crowder. They could be some fillers um, that could fill out some teams as well. Um, but they're not going to be, you know, a part of this video. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, let's just get started. Our shout out for today's video goes to my man, Elijah for commenting the emoji on last video. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one, let's comment the cake emoji. And of course, if you are in the 50% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and let's get started with our honorable mentions. Okay, so our first honorable mention are the two teams that you see right here, actually. And that's gonna be the Patriots and the Vikings. So the difference between the Patriots and the Vikings to me is one team has better receivers and one team has better cornerbacks. So it is going to come down to whatever you, you know, you value. Here's the Vikings team. They have Randy Moss. They have Stephon Diggs. They have Justin Jefferson and Adrian Peterson. But then at cornerback, they have nobody. But they do have Jaron Curse and Paul Krause at safety, which is really nice. And John Randall, Jared Allen, Daniel Hunter. So if I were to pick one, me personally, if I were picking a team and I had to pick either the Patriots or the Vikings, I would definitely lean to the Vikings team, uh, mainly just because also the running back too. I mean, you see right here, the receivers are weak, both get Randy Moss, but um, yeah, even quarterback, I'd rather have, you know, I'd rather would, I ra would rather have the potential of the Vikings quarterback position with Cole Pepper and Randall Cunningham than have the Patriots where it's only Tom Brady and they already got Mac Jones and he's never gonna get a good card. Then also Adrian Peterson for the Vikings. So to me, you know, Patriots, Vikings, and then, you know, Patriots, they have Tlaib and Revis, which is a pretty big upgrade at cornerback with, you know, with Adrian Phillips and they have good pass rush too with Judon. Um, so, you know, you, you gotta pick one. If I had to pick one at that, at, you know, at that 11, 12 spot, yeah, I would, I'm leaning, I would lean Vikings. Vikings, they got three good receivers, a Adrian Peterson, two good safeties, um, and good quarterback potential as well. So yeah, those are honorable mentions and they, um, they do round out our top 10 at 11 and 12. Coming in at number 10, we have the Arizona Cardinals theme team. And if I made this video on Wednesday, the Cardinals probably would have been an honorable mention team and the Vikings probably would have been in this 10 spot. But the nice little bump from them today, you know, they have the Andre Hopkins plus one speed, Christian Kirk, Adrian Peterson, and Kurt Warner at quarterback. O-line, you know, it has its holes, it has its problems, it does have Dan Deardorff though. But night train lane as well with Antonio Camardi and Buda Baker and Isaiah Simmons. And you could obviously use like a cheat, you know, with, um, you know, Rondé Barber, who I would probably use on this team to help those corners out a little bit. You know, 86 speed Patrick Peterson is really just not that great. And a lot of the cornerbacks that, a lot of the teams that had good cornerbacks two weeks ago, they're now gonna be much further down because these new corners that we're getting are so much faster than the 88 speed. Like we didn't spend a lot of time getting 89 and 90 speed cornerbacks. We're already getting 92 speed cornerbacks so any team that has the night train lane card, um, big boost, a huge boost there for them, but two good receivers, a good running back, Kurt Warner at quarterback, um, you know, basically one good corner. I mean, Kamardi can still play at 89 speed, but then a Buda Baker and Isaiah Simmons over the top or as a user or however you want to use those two safeties. And then you also have a lurk artist two on the theme team as well. Just a nice, you know, Cardinals theme team, really nice. And they usually do get some pretty good upgrades, um, you know, as the year goes. So uh, yeah, I'm putting the Cardinals theme team right here at number 10 and you know, they've gotten hot recently and here we go. They, they, they do make the top 10 uh, on the theme team tier list. Coming in at number nine, we have the Raiders theme team. And again, a lot of Randy Moss theme teams are going to be high on this list. People can now get the full Randy Moss card. So potentially a 93 speed Randy Moss is obviously pretty nutty. Um, you have Jerry Rice and also good potential. I said potential in the intro potential does play a factor and the Raiders I'm honestly surprised they didn't get fed more um in the all Madden drop yesterday they did get Ronnie Lott who's probably the best all Madden card that came out I mean the guy can do everything but uh even their corners like 
you know, this is what I mean. Like, you know, Marcus Peters, 88 speed, he was top tier when he came out. Or Charles Woodson, 88 speed. Now, an 89 speed cornerback, I mean, he, 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 he's able to play, but he's not going to be super effective. They have Palomau as well. Um, they have Khalil Mack off an edge. Warren Sapp actually is still a pretty good card, believe it or not. Um, only problem with him is that he doesn't get inside stuff. So you pair him with an inside stuff defensive, defensive tackle. Pretty good duo right there. So to me, although, I'm going to say it right now, although the Cardinals theme team, to me, is actually better than the Raiders team right now. The potential of the Raiders team is just too good to ignore. Um, they have two good running backs. I would probably use Josh Jacobs over him. But um, yeah, Raiders theme team, this is probably the lowest they've been this year. I mean, like, again, their potential usually carries them a good amount. I mean, this team's decent. You can definitely pair them with a good 25. Um, but, yeah, they got a good edge. Decent decent edge, really. You know, like, probably the best safety in the game on the team. And then two decent corners with, um, you know, Randy Moss and Devontae Adams. So that, that's really all you need with a Raiders team that has the potential that they have where they could just get hot in an instant and rise to the top. Like, you've seen a couple of these theme teams that are going to be in the top five today do. So, yeah, number nine, we're going to go with the Raiders theme team. And just know, I think right now, Cardinals theme team, you know, is better, but you know, in a week or two from now, we'll, we'll, you know, is it going to stay that way? Odds are probably not. And coming in at number eight, we have the Eagles theme team, and this one might be a bit of a surprise, honestly. Um, and the Eagles theme team, I actually do like them because you could basically run this offensive line with no cheats if you really wanted to. If you, I would probably cheat maybe Andre Dillard. You'll go get like Charles Cross or a guy like that. But the O line's good, and that of course does open up more cheats to the rest of the team. So um you know if you really, if you do run them you'll have a couple cheats that you know here and there um but at receiver here's the thing with receiver right you have high overall receivers 89 aj brown but he's at 87 speed so this card you know even on a theme team 88 speed receiver is not really going to be cutting it right now with the amount of fast dbs that we've got we've kind of had a quick speed influx here in this game so harold carmichael he's amazing on this team don't get me wrong deandre so it's even actually still pretty decent 89 speed jukebox you can still use him um, then you have Mike Vick, Dallas Goddard, to Demon. Um, and then you, they also do get Reggie White. And they get and, and they have uh, John Runyon as well. So they have two on Madden cards and a Lurk artist on the theme team too. Um, but to me, Avante Maddox, just a little bit undersized. Good speed. Can definitely, you can definitely find a place to play him. Uh, but, you know, these DBs just aren't cutting it for me. If we get like a Brian Dawkins card maybe next week, that'll raise them up. Or, you know, an Asante Samuel. But they need DBs and not be awesome. Lost, someone like that um, to come help out this team. You know, come, help, come, help out, come help out this theme team. And I was just thinking in my head, did Namdi Oswald play for the... Yeah, he did play for the Eagles, right? I don't know why. I, I always forget about that one. But I, I always get him and, uh, you know, Asante Samuel kind of confused. But uh, he, he, did, he definitely did, right? I hope he did. I don't want to get a comment saying, dude, 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 dude the Eagles. But um, the Eagles team team, they could get hot like this. They could. Or they could just continue to tank. It's one or the other. Because uh, if they don't get a timely, you know, Brian Dawkins upgrade or someone like that, I could see them falling. I... I I mean, I definitely can. It's the reality of it. A lot of their good cards, a lot of their good legends have already gotten upgrades, um, and they're still kind of. I mean, they're, I mean, they're still top ten, so they're still pretty good. But um, that's mainly because of decent potential, and then Harold Carmichael helps them out a lot. Being a six foot eight unicorn with ninety speed on a theme team's crazy. Okay, the next team we're looking at is the Chiefs theme team, and I have to admit something. I I think I may have you know over calculated this chiefs team looking at the past you know what five teams we've looked at so far in this video the chiefs theme team i might be dropping them back they do get darrell Revis and Derek thomas who's nice chris jones in the middle jared allen um, a good offensive line probably only like one cheat but not even which is actually nice for having other cheats but you know tyree kill 91 speed uh smith marset you're not going to use him and then juju smith he's too slow no running back they do have joe montana though and Travis Kelsey. So yeah, the Chiefs theme team, I'm actually going to move them down a lot. Um, not a lot, but I'm going to move them down a little bit. So I was originally going to put them, I originally had them here, but that's, no, I got to move them down. See the arrows point that way. We're going to put them all the way back. I think they're, they might be worse than the Pats team. Uh, I think they are. They're just the worst Pats because they don't have, yeah, they might even be B tier. That's how bad I may have actually missed on this one when I first looked at them. And to be fair, you know, I, I go through them alphabetical. So you know, some teams just do get forgotten. I guess the Chiefs got forgotten like that. But I might put the Chiefs at B tier. I, I, call me crazy, but that might be one of the biggest miscalculations in one of these videos. It, it might be. And their potential isn't even like that crazy special either. So, yeah, I'm going to put the Chiefs at B tier. You know, the, if you were a Chiefs theme team, you are probably like, oh my God, they're in the top 10. I'm sorry, but I'm putting them at the top of B tier. Coming in at number six, we have the Ravens theme team. 
And there is one card that's going to be coming to this team that's not in the game yet, and that is Ricky Williams. He was leaked um, when they were doing the All Madden reveal stream, so we know Ricky Williams is going to be in All Madden Part 2 somehow, some way. And I believe he'll be like, he should be a champion. So them getting Ricky Williams with Lamar Jackson, a fast quarterback who benefits from the speed boost. You have Shannon Sharp, who I, you know, probably can't really use him that well now. Um, even Mark Andrews, 87. You can use 87 speed. 87 speed, you could actually use a tight end. I've been using Higby. He plays fine for me with 87 speed at tight end. So he's okay there. You have Odell Beckham, though. Devin Hester. Like I said, Lamar Jackson is nice to have. And you have Fruit Punch, Marcus Peters, Deion Sanders, and Ed Reed with Ray Lewis, who does get Lurk Artist, which is a nice little thing to have there with Matthew Judon, Lawrence Guy, playing with tackle, and then Matthew Judon. Or sorry, uh, Jadavian Clowney. And here's, here's the thing. The Ravens DBs were once elite. They were once the best in the game. But then we got this crazy speed boost out of nowhere. And now, you know, 88 speed, 89 speed on the theme team doesn't look that good. Or even for Marcus Peters, they don't look that good. Or Deion Sanders, he don't look that good no more. Um, you know, unlike two weeks ago where these guys were actually pretty top tier DBs. But they do have Ed Reed. Um, and we know they're going to get Ricky with a fun offense. So I am going to put, I'm not going to put them. Because those DBs are like kind of mid, like they're just mid. Like I'm, I'm gonna, not going to put them at A tier. But I'm not gonna put my S tier. I'll put them at A tier. I'm not S tier yet. But um, what we have right now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, the Ravens team at number six. And next up, we have the Seahawks theme team. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit of movement. We're gonna move down the uh the Ravens team to number five and then move up the Seahawks to number six. I originally had them at at, at you know at five in S tier, but I just feel like I value their potential too much. And don't get me wrong, I still I still feel like their potential is really, really good, but on defense. They really don't have a DB that should be on your field besides maybe using Cam Chancellor. Uh, Trey Brown can play. Find a spot for him. 90 speed, you can use him. Um, but he's 5'10". Three goal you're not using. But easily, I could see, you know, a three goal and upgrade. Devin Witherspoon upgrade. Brandon Marshall upgrade. And probably some more guys I'm just not naming. You know, the Steve Largent, who knows? Maybe they'll pull him out somehow. Um, but, you know, Seattle, EA is going to find a way to get Seattle upgrades because they know that the Seattle theme team makes them money. Um, and you know, they, they got some good pieces on offense. DK Metcalf, Adrian Peterson. Um, that's probably it. Charles Cross. You, you, and you can use Geno Smith if you, if you want to, of course. But, um, yeah, I, Seattle theme team, they're not that good right now. And they were really good to start the year. They got a bunch of good upgrades, but now this is kind of the cool down period. They, they were heating up for a little bit with DK and Adrian Peterson and Geno and, you know, and Marshawn Lynch, but they've cooled down now. And, uh, the reality of it is Seattle theme team isn't what it once was to start this year. But again, they could just ignite in a second and be top three again. They, they really could. And it's crazy how, you know, fat, how speeds really like progress this year so quickly. And, you know, some theme teams, some DBs have kind of been left in the dust. So, um, yeah, Seattle Seahawks theme team. I'm going to put them at A tier. And you might be able to move them down one more spot. Like, I, I think I might move them down one more peg. Uh, it, no, nah, it, it's close, man. It is close. Like, is it Harold or DK? And then it's the running backs. Now, I'll, I'll leave Seattle in front. I'll, I'll, I'll leave Seattle in front of the Eagles. Uh, I'll do that. But, yeah, also Seattle's got much better potential than the Eagles. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go Seattle at number six. And then Ravens up to number five. Okay, don't worry. The top four is set in stone. I've, you know, these are, these are probably the teams I've gone through the most on this list. You know, nitpicking them, picking them apart. But number four, Jets theme team. There are two big movers in S tier now in this top four first one is the Jets team uh you have Geno Smith Michael Vick you have a usable quarterback you can use either Geno or Mike Vick it doesn't matter uh if you don't want to use if you don't want to use Frank Gore Brees Hall I've been using him he, he plays pretty well and then you have Garrett Wilson at receiver now without the Garrett Wilson upgrade Jets theme team may have been an A tier theme team with, but you know but getting that extra you know wider that you know the extra wide receiver that you don't need to cheat on is just nice to have so you know Garrett Wilson a usable quarterback and you can use Brees Hall if you need to but it's the DBs on this team that make them special you have Darrell Rivas, Antonio Camardi, Sauce Gardner, Ronnie Lott, and Ed Reed on this team. Quincy Williams as well with Quinn Williams in the middle. Um, so I'm not going to lie. The pass rush could be a little bit better. Like as far as like edge rushers go, they have, you know, they have Quinn in the middle. But these DBs is why you build a Jets team because you know these guys will get upgrades year in and year out. Rivas, Lott, Ed Reed, and now they have Sauce that'll be getting upgrades too. And, you know, Sauce top tier corner, debatably number one. Maybe not anymore. And, you know, probably, probably still maybe number one. Uh, you have Revis, Ronnie Lott, best safety in the game. Ed Reed, probably second or third best safety in the game. So, you know, the Jets theme team, they are juiced in that secondary. Offense, they got some holes, I won't lie. But it's these DBs that, you know, adding them as a 25 to one of your teams that are struggling on defense, it makes their, makes this team so much better. Um, so, yeah, the, yeah, the Jets theme team, they got to be S tier. They got to be in the top four without debate. And this is an example of a team 
Now, you know, I've had a Jets team this whole year, and <laughs> without without some of these upgrades, it was looking tough. But then we get Revis, and we get Sauce, and then Ronnie Lai, and Ed Rika on a back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back. It's nice. Can't lie. It's nice. A Jets team team in S tier. Okay, coming in at number three, we have the San Francisco 49ers theme team. They have they have two good tight ends, really. And still, Vernon Davis is our only tight end apprentice tight end. I do think that'll probably change at least next all Madden drop when we get like our Tony Gonzalez or some all Madden tight end. I don't know who it could even be. I, I don't know. But um, O-line, I'm surprised it's actually not better for a Niners team. But, you know, Kittle, Vernon Davis. Uh, you have Randy Moss. 93 speed potentially ucmc probably over frank gordy of joe montana hot Rod master qb you have now isaac bruce so you have two good receivers on this team and then the dbs the dbs aren't the best but there are two cards on this team that i think put them over the jets team um and i think randy moss randy moss is much better than garrett wilson keep that in mind i'm just kind of trying to compare him to the team before randy moss better than garrett bruce is better than any other jets you know running back that they, or receiver that they have chris mccaffrey better than Brees, and then they have tight ends which is actually big for a theme team I mean, also fullbacks, you know, one fullback there is pretty nice too. Uh, but then you have Ronnie Lott, which the Jets team also has. And then you have Patrick Willis, who the Jets team doesn't have. The Jets team doesn't have Patrick Willis. Um, getting him with a, a 90 speed user, Patrick Willis, uh, 242 pounds, six foot one lurk artist. That is probably the main reason why I put them over the Jets team team. Um, and also, you know, the Niners, as uh, having a, being a Jets theme team uh, for the last four years, every single second of the year. I can tell you the Niners theme team, they have better potential, okay? They they have better potential. Maybe the Jets will get like, you know, I don't know, Brandon Marshall, Plesco Burris, uh, Santana. I don't know, you know, the, who knows what EA is going to pull out at this point. But uh, yeah, Jets theme team. Um, I'm going to put the Niners team in front of the Jets team. Although maybe, you know, those Jets DBs are a little bit better. Um, you know, the, the, the receivers, it's kind of like a balance, I guess. So I guess you can kind of pick and choose. But to me, the Niners are just more well, they're more balanced than the Jets team who's Really just all DBs, and that's it. And coming in at number two, we have the Dallas Cowboys theme team. And, you know, they are going to be, I, apparently, it looks like Tony Romo in the blur. It looks like Tony Romo. It's either going to be him or probably Aikman uh, for a legend tomorrow. So do keep that in mind. And I did actually factor that into this ranking. I definitely did do that. Um, but, you know, CD Lamb, he's very good. Mike Irvin, probably the best wide receiver in the game right now. On to the theme team. You have Harold Carmichael as well, but um, you know it's it really is a receiver. It's a receiver DB kind of situation here. This is like the Jets of receivers, I guess. Wait, did I say that right? It's like the Jets team team is good at receivers. Like the Jets team team, Jets and Dallas right now would be a really good combo because you have really good receivers and you have you know really good DBs and safety. So imagine you know Malik Hooker is not that great. Jaron Curse is nice. Um, these corners phased out very quickly. They're not like they, they might be higher overalls than some guys, but they're not that great. Um, you know, two good edge rushers, yeah. Uh, but it's the it's the um, it's the receivers for me, man. That put Dallas where I have Dallas. Also, Zach Martin's nice to have. And like I said, Tony Romo is going to be coming out or Aikman. I don't know who it is, but it's definitely a Dallas quarterback. If I'm wrong, maybe drop him down a spot. But um, you know, Carmichael, CD, Mike Irvin over the last week has definitely helped Dallas out because without those receivers, they may have been they may have dropped like like Kansas City did. They they really may have, but. You know, the best receiver in the game, top you know, maybe two or three best receiver in the game, and then like a, then like the number six guy also getting plus one speed for them. You know, a potentially a, a good quarterback and uh, two good edge rushers there. So Dallas, I have my number two. You know that, that those receivers are just really really nice. So Dallas Cowboys, there you go, right to the top of S tier. And at number one, I can't believe I'm actually saying this. It's the Rams theme team. The Rams theme team is the best theme team right now in this game. And I built this Rams theme team right after Odell Beckham came out. That's when I built this team. They weren't that great. They had holes. They were weak. But man, like what's happened over the last two or three weeks with this Rams theme team has been crazy. They already had Torrey Holt, but Cooper Cup getting an upgrade. They have the first set feet slash hot round master QB Kurt Warner. Also got Isaac Bruce today in the all Madden drop. Tight end. You can use 87 speed Higby. But Night Train Lane and Keep Tlaib. Two top three corners in the game right now with a pass rusher. Um, so you have... Good DBs, good corners, good receivers, and a good quarterback on this team. Um, they're super balanced, super nice, and it's not like they're balanced with like mid cards. Like Isaac Bruce, you're taking two top, probably two top six, seven receivers in the game, getting them plus one speed. You have debatably the best quarterback in the game right now. He's getting plus. He's getting I mean, the speed. Speed doesn't matter that much, but he's on your team. And then you have Night Train Lane, 
With 92 speed, Akeem Talib, even Ramsey, if you have him, you could use him. Marcus Peters, he, he was, you know, he's cornerback two for some of these top 10 teams. Um, quarterback three even, but, you know, the Rams, they need to meet is number one. They've been getting fed. I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe they've just caught lightning in a bottle, and, you know, this, this happens sometimes. So sometimes teams that you go on these little, these little heaters, and the Rams are on that right now, and it's propelled them to the number one spot. It, it simply has. So, yeah, our top five theme teams in Madden 24 right now. Rams at one, Dallas at two, Niners at three, Jets at four, and Ravens at number five. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know in the comment section who's too high, who's too low. Let me know down below. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.